<sighs> breathe, Theron, breathe. I just want my color to work. I just want to be able to name my color palettes. I just want to be able to find my color palettes. And I want my Windows laptop to stop crashing. Why am I using my Windows laptop in my little black and white world? Because my Mac's not playing fair when it comes to colors. And with my Windows laptop here crashing, it's not playing very fair either. Okay, let's get into why I have to use my laptop. It's really just to illustrate a point and grab a screenshot so I can share it with you fine folks. But I'm hoping after this video we can go from this black and white dismal world into something colorful. Wouldn't it be great if we could save color palettes with our own naming convention? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if we could import them? Well, <laughs> Let's see if we can make that work, because right now, not really, unless I'm missing something. It's There are times I just miss something. I mean, for instance, this whole color thing that we're going to talk about in a moment. Who knew that there was a control key you had to click to make it work? Thanks, X-Lights. We're really good at reading your minds. Oh, my goodness. Let's get started. Let's bring some color into this right now. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences bringing you another Monday Minutes and this time it's all about getting a little help from my Windows laptop. That's this guy right here. Hello! <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to blow the dust off of it. I hadn't seen any action in a long time. I had to update this puppy. Yeah, yeah. And then install the latest version of X-Lights on there just to make a point with what I'm going to show you. Now that we're in color, I can do that. XLice 2024.15 has received some uh, pretty nice uh, enhancements, updates, bug fixes, you name it. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, it did receive this enhancement on the Mac side as well, but uh, there's, there's, there, there's just something I can't quite see. Maybe you can help me with this. But before we get going, smash that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Sure appreciate all of you folks that have been subscribing lately. It's been wonderful, and please continue to. Thank you. All right, so one of the uh, changes in XLice 2024.15, and this was a request of uh, a sequence vendor somewhere back had posted about it, and XLice folks saw the post said, hey, yeah, we could do that. And I think it's really, really good, but I think it can be improved. I hope it can be improved. And that's by simply uh, clicking in here and making ch color changes. So if I want to do this, yeah, let's say that's the one I want. And I want to change this to something different. I, I do a lot of custom colors <clears throat> in my sequences here and there. And now I can apply these to my uh, little effect over here. Oh, no, I can't. No, I can't because I didn't have it selected first. Let me do this again. Right click. I'm just going to randomly choose some things here. And yeah, that's good enough. There we go. So when you have custom colors uh, chosen or you've created some color patterns in here, one of the things uh, that you could have always been able to do is click the Save button. And that would give you these palettes here. And if you hover over these... Well, on a Windows computer, if you hover over these, you will see the name of these. And typically, it's like a color or palette one, palette two, three, four, five, all that kind of stuff. And typically, if I look at my palettes, and I'll bring this over, uh, you'll see that uh, there's Hokey, palette one, palette two. Typically, you see palette one, palette two. Now, I've created some other ones the other day, Freaky Christmas and Hokey, right? Great. Those are palettes. So let's talk about how do we create this naming convention that is brand new to X Lights. So after you have created your palettes, whatever you're going to have in here, let's just get some other colors in here. Just trying to make this very, very quick. You simply click on the uh, command or control save. So if I click on this, and I'm on the Mac, I'm using Command. On the Windows, you would use Control. You'd hold that key down, and you'd click on the Save button, and it's going to say, great. Will you please set your palette name? And I will call this 
Confu Confucius. I don't know. I'm just calling it a name. There we go. And you click OK. And now what happens is in here, this palette has been saved. On the window side, when you hover over this, you will see something that looks like this. I created one called Sushi. I love sushi. And you should too. And I created this over on the window side and took a picture of it and brought it over so you can see what it should look like. Yeah. Now, I did send out a, uh, a message uh, to Dan. Hey, man. Hey, man, Dan. Dan, man. Uh, I can't see sushi in my palette. I can't see it. Can't see anything in here. No words. And yes, I went to the Apple thing. And yes, I changed my dark screen to regular. It doesn't matter. You can't see the bloody words in here. And well, that sort of just defeats the whole purpose of me trying to find something by a name. Can't do it. So hopefully this will get fixed on the Mac side. It's very rare that we see issues like this on the Mac side. And, you know, when it gets to the point that I've got to bust out my laptop that's a Windows, then you know there's something going on that's not right. So I'm sure they'll get that fixed. Cool. So let's talk about how do we import? Well, here's the rub. If we can control or command click, save a palette, why can't we do the same here we want to load? Why can't I hit my command or control key and load a palette? Maybe I've got these palettes somewhere else. But no, you can't do that. No, no, no. No, you got to go into your directory. Then you got to go in here and say, okay, well, here's uh, my palettes that I, I imported from somewhere else. There's sushi and pancakes. So I can copy these. And then I can come back over here and go into my palettes. And then I can paste these in here. Boom. Now, now I can load those palettes, except for there's no name. I know this will get fixed on the window side. You're not gonna have to worry about this. Hopefully this gets fixed pretty quick, but I do have to say this is a pretty cool thing to have. And who knows if that is the sushi one or not. You're back to using visuals to find out what you're trying to load in here. But I do like the direction of controlling colors. It's sort of been the Achilles heel. And for sequencers, having access to all these color palettes is really, really important. Let's take this a step further. Wouldn't it be cool that in my views up here, my windows, uh, wouldn't it be cool, uh, let's go to views, in my windows, if I have my color... <laughs> yeah, wouldn't it be cool if I have this open, I have the same access. It'd be nice if up here, oh, look, look, they spelled colors with a U. Really? Come on. Well, I guess that is very British, isn't it? But again, let's just get back to this. This whole color thing, I think it's on the right path. I hope the Mac side gets this fixed up because I would definitely take advantage of that. Again, when you make your changes and you have those perfect colors that you want, there's no reason why you can't hit the um, control if you're on Windows, command if you're on Mac, save, and name your palettes. Now, if we can just get them a little bit easier for this, this to see. That's it. That's it. I, you know, I'm, I'm complaining like some old geezer. I get it. I get it. But x Light spoils us, doesn't it? Just spoils us. All right, we're going to keep this tidy and short because it is Monday. I've got a lot of work to get done. I hope you found this valuable. This is all I've got for you. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment sections if you think this is going to be a benefit to your world as we traverse the wide gamut in choices x Lights gives us. See what I did there? Gamut. Yeah, I gotta write that down. That was pretty funny. All right, I'm Ron. This has been Money Minutes. All I got for you. Take care. We'll see you next week.